Hello friends, good morning. In this video lecture, I will explain generation of high AC voltage by cascaded transformers. In previous lecture, I had explained generation of high AC voltage by single testing transformer. There were few limitations or drawbacks of using single unit for generating high AC voltage. So if voltage requirement is up to 350 kV, a single testing transformer can be used. After that, the problems become dominant. For higher voltage requirements, due to insulation problem, unit becomes too costly and bulky because the cost of the insulation is proportional to the square of the voltage. So, if we go beyond 350 kV, the cost of the insulation becomes too high. And as the level of the insulation, that is insulation requirement becomes more, therefore, the unit becomes costly as well as it becomes bulky. This also poses the problem of transportation and installation because the unit becomes too heavy. So there is problem of transportation as well as installation. These drawbacks are overcome by cascading of several identical units, normally three units of transformers, where the high voltage windings of all the units come in series. So here we use the cascaded arrangement for identical units of the transformer they can be more than three, but normally three units are preferred. The reason we'll see afterwards. Now let us see how this cascaded transformer unit is there. This is the cascaded transformer. You can see here there are three transformers. This is first unit. This is second unit. This is third unit. First unit is kept on the ground. Second unit is on the insulator, post type insulator or any uh, it is basically we want isolation from the ground. This is third unit. It is also isolated from the ground and therefore it is kept on the insulator. Now come to the first unit. This is the primary winding or low voltage winding of this unit. So A, A dash we are representing as primary winding or low voltage winding. This is primary winding of the second unit. This is primary winding of the third unit. Here voltage input is V1. Now come to the other side that is secondary side. So here BB dash is the secondary winding. So this is BB dash where voltage generated or voltage induced is V2. This is second unit BB dash voltage induced is V2. This is third unit BB dash is the secondary winding voltage induced here is also V2. Now CC dash this is the excitation winding that is connected to the primary winding of the second unit. So in this excitation winding voltage induced will be same as V1. So this V1 is given to the low voltage winding or primary winding of the second unit. Similarly here CC dash is the excitation winding. It is connected to the primary winding of third unit AA dash. So the, this voltage is V1. This voltage is also V1. This voltage is also V1. So voltage induced in the secondary winding for all the units is V2. Now in the first unit there is one additional winding that is BD that is the measuring winding. Across this voltmeter is connected and that is calibrated in terms of the final output voltage. Now the important thing is here it is BP dash winding that is secondary winding. So B dash, B dash terminal is at high voltage and this high voltage terminal is connected to the body of this second unit. Therefore, the entire body of this second unit is at potential V2. So here in induced EMS is V2 and this body is at potential V2. Now here in this secondary winding voltage induced is V2. But with respect to ground if we measure the voltage it will be two times V2. Similarly, this point B dash is connected to the body of this third unit. So this body of the third unit is at potential twice V2. Voltage induced here is V2. So with respect to the ground, voltage terminal uh, output uh, or this terminal is at potential 3 V2. So here we can see that insulation required for each high voltage winding is V2 only. Whereas output voltage is 3 V2 because the body is kept at potential V2. So voltage requirement or insulation requirement for all the unit is just V2. G is pillar that is isolated from the earth. 
or it is insulator. Now let us see the salient features of this. I had explained with respect to the diagram. Same thing is repeated here. So that if you want to find something in this salient feature in this construction, you can get it from this slide. The first transformer is at the ground potential along with its tank, that is body. The high voltage winding of the first unit is connected to the tank of the second unit. The second transformer is kept on the insulators and maintained at a potential of V2 above the ground. The low voltage winding of the second unit is supplied from the excitation winding of the first unit which is in series with the high voltage winding at its high voltage end. The rating of the excitation winding is identical to that of the primary winding that is the low voltage winding. The high voltage connection from the first transformer winding and the excitation winding terminal are taken through a bushing to the second transformer. It is taken through a bushing. In a similar manner, the third transformer is kept on insulators, insulators above the ground at a potential of twice V2 and is supplied from the second transformer. Now, other silent features, the number of stages in this type of arrangement are usually three to facilitate a three phase operation so that square root of three into V2 can be obtained between the lines. So phase voltage will be V2 and line voltage will be root 3 times V2. That is the general relationship. Also with 3 units, 3 phase connection in delta or star is possible for 3 units. If units are more than 3, then this type of arrangement or this type of connection are not possible. So these are the reasons why normally we keep 3 units. The rating of the primary or low that is low voltage winding is usually 230 volts or 400 volts for small units up to 100 kVA. For larger outputs, the rating of the low voltage winding may be 3.3 kV, 6.6 kV or 11 kV. Testing transformers are rating up to 10 MVA in cascaded connection to give high voltages up to 2.25 MV are available for both indoor as well as outdoor application. 2.25 MV means 2250 kV. Now let us see what are the advantages. The weight of the whole unit is subdivided into single units, therefore transportation and installation become easier. The transformer cost for a given voltage is reduced. Since cascaded units need not individually possess the expensive and heavy insulation required, a single stage transformer for high voltage exceeding 350 kV. See, in the diagram you have seen that voltage output of each unit is V2 only. So, if we are having 350 kV rating for secondary winding, that is high voltage winding for each unit, the insulation requirement will be 350 kV only and not for the second unit, it is, it is 700 kV and third unit, it is 1050 kV. Individual requirement is 350 kV only. It is found that the cost of insulation for such voltages for a single unit becomes proportional to square of operating voltage. For example, if we want to generate let us say 600 kV. Then if we are if we are having single unit only, then cost of the insulation will be proportional to square of 600 kV. If we are using 3 units of 200 kV each, then cost of the insulation will be proportional to 3 times 200 square. So 3 times 200 square is very very less as compared to 600 square. So that is the advantage. Now let us see what are the drawbacks. First drawback, the main disadvantage of cascading the transformers is that the lower stages of the primaries of the transformers are loaded more as compared with the upper stages. Now see, the first unit that is feeding the input voltage to second unit as well as third unit. So loading of the first unit is more. So it is not uniform loading. Similarly, if you observe the second unit, it is feeding the input of the third unit, whereas third unit is getting, is not feeding any other unit. So, power requirement or loading of third unit will be less and first unit will be maximum. Second drawback is large excitation current is required because there are, there are excitation windings for second unit and third unit. So, excitation current requirement is more. So, these are the drawbacks. Now, let us see 
the practical cascaded transformer which are used in outdoor as well as indoor application so this is used in the outdoor application this is first unit this is first unit it is kept on the ground you can see here the first unit is kept on the ground the second unit is on the is isolated from the ground it is it is on, mounted on the insulator the third unit is also mounted on the insulator this is the output of the insulator uh, of the first unit that is taken through bushing this is also taken through bushing the output is also taken through bushing and this type of arrangement is used to avoid the corona these are the spheres and finally all the spheres are forming a big sphere to avoid the corona and this is the output of this first unit given to the second unit this is output of the second unit given to the third unit so this is outdoor application for cascaded transformer this is indoor application this is first unit this is kept on the ground second unit isolated from the ground third unit isolated from the ground this is the output terminal taken through bushing output terminal taken through bushing output terminal taken through bushing and this is spherical arrangement to avoid the corona in previous case you had seen that there are small spheres and finally they are forming a big sphere to avoid the corona and this is a single sphere to avoid the corona and this is the output of first unit going to the second unit output of the second unit going to the third unit and this is the output of the third unit it is going to the rectifier to convert ac voltage into dc voltage friends if you feel this video lecture useful then please like it ask your friends colleagues and your juniors to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power system production if you want to make effective and efficient use of the time then read my book on time management the link for the book is given in the description box also and this is also the link i have launched a useful course for the students on udemy the title of the course is boost your learning and become top achiever this course is for boosting your brain power and program the mind for success this course is very useful for the students who are preparing for the competitive and entrance exams this is the link for the course link is also given in the description box thank you